Now, another set of tools that we're going to see up here is all of your drop-down menus, and we're going to take a quick look at those. If you look at the file menu, you'll see that you've got new project, which is fairly obvious. That just gives you a brand new project to work on. You've got new folders and new events, import from camera, import if you want to bring in movies or archives or an older HD project. You've got uh, project properties. This just gives you information about, let's take a look at this. You can see it just gives you information about the current project. You can see that we are widescreen, 24 frames per second. Default transition duration is 0.5 seconds, which is great. This applies to all transitions or just to the ones added to the project. Uh, title fades, this is just the what is built in for the standard. You can always change this when you're creating it, but this is just the default. And photo duration, if you bring in a photo, is going to be four seconds in your video. And down here, Ken Burns, that just allows you to have the Ken Burns effect where the photo moves in and out to your still images automatically. Back in the file menu here, you will see that you've got project themes, and that's something that we'll get into detail later, but basically that's just a, a look that you can give to your particular project. Finalize project when you get done, and move to trash, move related clips to trash, space saver. What those do is uh, pretty obvious. It gets rid of the stuff you don't want. Space saver just takes clips and keeps only the stuff that you're using and gets rid of the stuff you don't need. And you've got things like merge events, analyze video, that's for stabilization, uh, optimize video. What this does is it, it allows you to have an efficient way to store your video without taking too much space. And we'll get into that in a later video as well. Uh, page setup and print project, those are literally for printing what's on the screen. Okay, the edit menu, uh, basically the undo and redo, which is pretty obvious, cut, copy, and paste, just like any other program, paste adjustments. What that does is if you've got certain adjustments that you've done to a clip of video and you copy that piece of video, this allows you to paste the effects that you put onto that video onto another video without copying the actual images that are in the video itself. Select All allows you to select everything and transition overlap. Maintain clip range or maintain project duration. What that does is it allows you to um, put a transition in and decide whether you want to expand the project based on that. Spelling just has a spell checker and special characters deals with typing as well. Now for your clip, this allows you to do things to the individual clips that you're using in your video. Slow motion, pretty obvious. You've got preset settings here of 50, 25, and 10 percent. Fast forward, that just tells you how fast when you hit a fast forward button it's going to move through your video. Instant replay, pretty obvious. Jump cut at beat markers. And what that does is that just allows you to uh, set the way it's going to cut when you've got markers in your video. And we'll go into that again in a later video. Uh, fade to black and white. Sepia or Dream just has to do with how the video is going to fade. Special effects allow you to create some special effects for your videos. Duplicate last title, and that's fairly obvious. And this allows you to get into the trimming, which we're going to get into more of this in detail, so don't worry too much about it yet. This is more of the fine detail stuff that you can do with a clip. Split clip allows you to break the clip into smaller pieces, and join obviously does the exact opposite. Now let's get down into some of the other things here. Detach audio, that just allows you to remove, to separate the audio from the video if they were captured together, let's say on your camera. Mute clip obviously mutes the clip and volume, remove volume adjustments just takes away the adjustments that have been made to it. Uh, add beat markers just allows you to add markers to your audio tracks so that you know where to cut your video based on that. Arrange music tracks and unpin music tracks. We'll get into that later as well. Now in the view menu, you've got favorites only, favorites and unmarked, all clips and rejected only. And what this does is if you've got a whole bunch of video clips in your bottom window here, your clips window, 
this allows you to show only the stuff that you've marked with a star or whether it shows everything regardless of whether it's marked as good or bad. Most recent projects are at the top. What that does is that just allows you to recall projects and, and the most recent one being there. And uh, I think that's fairly obvious. And this, it's just a way of sorting out your different projects. This is uh, just how you play your video back. Spacebar allows you to play through videos, whether it's in the clips bin or in the project bin. Play selection, loop selection, play from beginning, play around current frame, and play full screen are just different options for playing the video based upon what you're doing at the time. Reveal an event browser, uh, snap to ends, snap to beats, audio skimming, and playhead info. What that is is that just tells you how things are going to react based upon um, how you put videos together. Snap to ends, for instance, allows your cursor to move to automatically move to the end of a clip and it, uh, it just allows you to make sure that you're hitting the right spots at the ends of the video. And we'll get into that again in more detail. For text, this is just your basic text tools, and I think they're fairly obvious in there. And share is one that we will get into in a later video. This just has options for exporting all of your video to a variety of different locations, whether it's for iTunes or, or to make onto a DVD, to go into a mobile me gallery, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, iReport, Podcast Producer, and then your export movie features, which allow you to create your own type of exporting and uh, set it to whatever you personally would like. Window, that just allows you to go in and set up the way that things look for your personal uh, space that you're working in. And of course, help just allows you to get some help for uh, working on the projects. And I hope this gives you a quick, down and dirty, easy way to understand some of the tools and some of the windows. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed, don't worry. We've got a whole series we're going to be putting together where we're going to get into greater detail on all of the different parts that make up iMovie. This is just a, a big overview to give you a general idea of what's here and what you can do with it. I'm Ray, and if you have any more questions, feel free to let us know, and we'd be glad to answer anything for you.